I don't know if I can go on without her, he told his good friend Jimmy Stewart. I wish it had been me in that plane. It had been several weeks since the death of his wife, Carol Lombard, and Clark Gable remained listless, disconsolate. It's like a light has gone out in Clark, Stewart confided to concerned friends. I'm worried about him. In the summer of 1942, the 40-year-old Gable enlisted in the Army Air Force as a private. He passed officers' candidate and aerial gunnery school and wrote a letter to President Roosevelt pleading for a combat assignment. Stay where you are, FDR telegrammed back. But Gable was persistent and was eventually assigned to the 351st Bomb Group to make a documentary film called Combat America. Stationed in England, Gable insisted on flying combat missions and even had a close encounter with anti-aircraft fire when his boot was hit with flak. I'd rather take my chance up there than go on without her down here, Clark Gable confessed. I don't expect to come back and I don't want to come back.